And now I'm joined by Mehdi Hassan, who's a journalist, editor-in-chief and CEO of the new media company Zateo. Mehdi, thank you for joining me. Tell me what you th- thought when you heard that clip. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Anishka, for having me. I thought a lot of things. I mean, me and Richard Dawkins go way back. I've be, we've been sparring for over a decade. I interviewed him on my then Al Jazeera show back in 2012 about religion. And uh, a few things come to mind. Number one, for years, his supporters and he told me and others, we don't hate Islam. We're not picking on Islam. We hate all religions. And people like me would say, mm, don't, not sure we believe you. Uh, and I think uh, there was confirmation of that on Sunday with Rachel Johnson, where he made it very clear. He likes Christianity a lot. He doesn't like Islam uh, a lot. So I'm glad that cat's out of the bag. Finally, it's taken about 12 years uh, for people to catch up. I would also say I wasn't surprised by what he said because I've been following his career and he's been very anti-Islam for a while. Uh, This is a man who's called Islam a cancer, who said Islam is the greatest force for evil in the world. He says in that clip, I distinguish between Islam and Muslims. But of course, he's also said stuff like, who do these who the hell do these Muslims think they are? Uh, He once called for me to be fired from the New Statesman because I believe in Islamic beliefs, which he then had to retract and apologize for. So he has a long history. He has form on this subject. The third thing I'd say is the number of falsehoods in that entire exchange since when is Ramadan being promoted over Easter? Where's the evidence for that? I, there's zero evidence of that. LBC in its tweet yesterday referred to Easter lights not being up, but Ramadan lights being up. I haven't lived in the UK for nine years, Anushka, but I did live there for 36 years before then. I don't remember seeing any Easter lights on Oxford Street. What <laughs> That's a very light? good point. What are Easter lights? I, I know they're Christmas lights. I don't know what Easter lights are. So this is a bit of a fake row. Uh, this is a private endeavor. It's not from the government. It's not from Mayor Khan. It's not from the GLA. And look, why aren't we celebrating all religions? Um, My Jewish cousins had uh, Hanukkah in Trafalgar Square in December. There was a massive menorah and Hanukkah lights. Number one, great. I love it. We should have more of that. Number two, I don't remember Richard Dawkins or others in the right wing media kicking up a fuss about that. And if Jeremy Corbyn had come out and said, I'm very unhappy about this menorah display in Trafalgar Square, you and your colleagues, Anushka, would rightly be all over him. So why are we not criticizing Richard Dawkins for this? Because Islamophobia is much more acceptable these days, sadly, than any other kind of uh, bigotry towards religious communities. Well, what do you actually think it means to talk about cultural Christianity in that way? Because one of the things I find is you can have a conversation about religion, and I I quite enjoyed his book, The God Delusion, um, but but there is a separate conversation, and that's about what people are like in their normal lives. And, you know, I was actually following an MP, Dawn Butler, around recently because I'm doing a thing about MPs getting attacked much more. And I was at a mosque and Sadiq Khan was there and the local rabbi was there. And Jewish people and Muslim people were just living side by side, living their lives. And the depiction that you sometimes get of what it might be like to be a Muslim or to be a Jew, just just doesn't exist, as far as I can tell, in people's ordinary lives. Yeah, and a couple of things. Uh, just before I answer your question about cultural Christianity, let's be very clear about the Islamophobia here. This is not a coincidence. People are attacking Sadiq Khan for being the Muslim mayor of London, including his Tory rival. Uh, you have a Muslim first minister of Scotland. You do have a lot of mos- mosques being built, as Rachel ominously referred to in that clip. And people get very upset with change. They don't like uh, the idea of, oh, Muslims are coming, Sharia law takeover, all this nonsense that right-wing media is fed over the years. I think Kit Kat's been attacked recently for doing something about Ramadan in the UK. Uh, it's it's all very, uh, it's not, this is not a coincidence. Um, as for cultural Christianity, Richard Dawkins trying to have his cake and eat it. As you say, he wrote The God Delusion. He spent years attacking organized religion. And now he says, well, I quite like the bits that involve singing and architecture. Those bits, can we keep? Well, first of all, again, I question the premise. He says, I don't want to lose our cathedrals. Are we losing cathedrals, Anushka? I don't live in the UK. You work for ITV News. Have you done a breaking news story about cathedrals being <laughs> dismantled in front of our eyes? I quite like cathedrals too. By the way, I'm more pro-Christianity than he is. I love Jesus. I'm totally for Christians going to church. He's the one who spent years attacking religion. And now he's like, well, people don't go to church and churches are empty. Whose fault is that, Richard Dawkins? Maybe it's yours. Maybe you should look in the mirror about why people aren't turning up to church. I don't see why Muslims get blamed for Christians not turning up to church anymore. I I find that very odd. And do do you worry about the kind of state of debate around the UK at the moment when it comes to being Muslim? It's very, very worrying. Everyone I speak to in the UK from what I'm watching from afar, uh, it's very worrying when you have 
For example, the former Home Secretary saying Islamists run Britain, and you have the former Vice Chair of the Tory Party saying Sadiq Khan has handed over London to his Islamist mates. Again, let's just remind ourselves, we wouldn't tolerate this language about any other religion or faith community or minority. If Zach Goldsmith had beaten Sadiq Khan and was the Jewish mayor of London, and somebody in the Labour Party went out and said he's handed over London to his Zionist friends, we would be up in arms, and rightly so. You cannot just push around these kind of lazy, racist, uh, bigoted tropes. And look, when Richard Dawkins says Islam is hostile to women and gays, number one, making a sweeping claim about billions of people is the definition of bigotry. And number two, he says Christianity is a fundamentally decent religion. I agree with him. It is. But every religion has its extremists. Come to the United States, where I am. See what Christian nationalist politicians are doing on the abortion front, how they're criminalizing women uh, and risking their lives. Go to Africa and see what the Christian church is doing to gay communities in Africa. Every religion has its extremists well, and bigots. Every religion is grappling with this stuff. Don't just pick on Islam, for God's sake. Well, let me just, uh, let me just ask you on that. Okay. Religion, and I'm talking about religion here. I'm not talking about culturally yep. what we are. There is a stream across religions in which women have been oppressed and in which yes. gay people have been oppressed. How do we have yes. that conversation without offending people? Isn't it OK to be able to say this in the Bible or this in the Quran has perhaps yes. led to a 100%. situation in which people are oppressed? 100%. I'm all for that. Yeah, you want to quote the Bible or the Quran? Let's do it all day long. That's not what Richard Dawkins did, though, is it? Richard Dawkins went on LBC yesterday in front of millions of people. This eminent biologist said Christianity is a fundamentally decent religion and Islam is not. Again, if he had gone on the radio and said Christianity is a decent religion and Judaism is not, I think you would have seen a much bigger backlash. We have normalized uh, bigotry towards Islam in a way that we haven't against other faith communities. And I just think, you know, we should be able to have those conversations, Anushka. I've had those conversations. I've written about homophobia and Islam. I've written about uh, misogyny and Islam. So I've had those conversations. What you don't do is you don't say Christianity is great for women, just has a few problems with female vicars. Islam, meanwhile, has a hostility towards all women. That's BS. You cannot make these sweeping statements. You cannot pretend one religion has some amazing record and the other religion doesn't and rank these religions in these ways. And if you do, you need to bring much more evidence to the table than the great evidence base Richard Dawkins bothered to bring. Mehdi, thank you very, very much for your time. I really appreciate you joining us on this.